Good morning, everybody. It's Randy Hilarski. Today is March 14th of 2022. I'm going to go through Orox today and tell you what's going on with Hex. Um, the markets are looking a little bit rough. I think Bitcoin had a <laughs> got slapped around a little bit this weekend with the news, um, some regulation news. Uh, I think China and the U.S., you know, it's the same shit, different day. Stuff we've been dealing with for a decade. But there are good things happening. And so there was some good news for Bitcoin last week. Um, I think there was something with Terra. I'm not quite sure what platform was uh, buying up a bunch of Bitcoin. Then there was three funds that looked like they might get approved. Uh, so so things are happening. Um, don't I'm not the guy to come to for Bitcoin because I don't even pay attention that much. I just saw the tweets. I uh, did see that there was some uh, <clears throat> videos that popped up on my YouTube and my Odyssey account where I saw people talking about all these big things that are happening for Bitcoin. <clears throat> um, during a bear market, that's when stuff happens, right? Uh, things get done during a bear market and then the euphoria happens in the, the bull market. And right now we are definitely in a bear market. So uh, yeah, I don't think Hex is any different. This whole decorrelated idea is, to me is kind of funny, you know, uh, until we have Pulse Chain and Pulse X and all these other <clears throat> systems to use. I think Hex is going to be uh, still at the whim of, of King Bitcoin. Bitcoin will move first. That's just how it is. You know, um, I actually at this point, I if Bitcoin goes into the 30s, I'll probably look at buying one just to have it for uh like a bottle cap or a baseball card, just to have it be to say I have it. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna pull up my screen. I wanna show you guys something cool. This is the Hex Investment Trust. Um, if you guys understand crypto and you're already in crypto, this is you're not gonna need this. Okay. This is not for you. So those of you guys who are saying, oh, we don't need a middleman in hex. No, we don't need a middleman in hex. Not at all, in my opinion. But this is built for the people that maybe they have their IRAs and they, they don't understand how to set up their own IRA where they control the money. You know, this this is going to be great for those types of people, people who aren't as tech savvy as you and me. Um, I think Wales is involved. Um, I thought RG3 uh, tweeted it out. I think Kinetics might be involved too. Um, I'm not sure of everybody. I know my brother built the website, his company, uh, Hilartech on Twitter. Give him a follow. Uh, H-I-L-A-R-T-E-C-H 2016, I think is his Twitter account. Um, give him a follow. <clears throat> He's also a hexagon. So, I mean, this is very bullish in my opinion for the hex community. When you start seeing things like this and before even Pulse Chain is launched, man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> and then we had Hedron last week. That was pretty bullish. Um, I admit that I sold most of my Hedron. I put it back into hex staked my hex and then i claimed my head around again on those hex stakes win guys it's a win i i love it it's really it's really a cool system it's 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 just this cycle of win with hedron and, and hex and and i hope there are more derivatives coming to the hex community so let me stop the screen and start going into orox All right, so let's, this is the long term. Let's go really short here. All right, not looking good today, guys. We now have an Orox indicator that is telling us to sell. Like I said, today is March 14th, 2022. It's been a rough weekend for crypto, at least uh, yesterday was rough. Um, things are starting to go down. The MACD is still okay with hacks. Uh, the demand index <clears throat> needs to get up to this line. We never recovered to this line. In order to keep going up, I, we need to get over, over above this and, and stick above it uh, like we did back in the past. Let me show you when we were booming. This was us when we were booming, guys. Look at this. This is all last year. We we're almost always above it. Right now, we're almost always below it. <laughs> Here, what I do? I need to refresh this. Okay, we've been down below for a while. 
since 16 February. That was shortly after the Pulse Act sacrifice. Uh, like I said, how do I trade this? Okay, if I was in a trade right now, since this red indicator just popped up, I would wait until tomorrow when that is painted and completed. Because this still could disappear. If there's somebody that comes in and they buy a couple million dollars worth of hex, it could force this indicator to go bye-bye. And then we'd still be staying green. I don't know if it will or not. I can't tell. So uh, right now, it's a wait and see for me. Like I said, the MACD is still okay. Uh, DI is looking a little bit rough. <laughs> but this doesn't take much to turn this, this sucker around. Turn that smile upside down, guys. We got the Orox lines. Um, I said that the 20, 23 March was going to be a serious... Uh, was going to be important for us to make a decision. It looks like it's still on track. We got the support line right here. We got this line right here. And um, if we can't get over 21 cents, then <clears throat> I think we're still heading down. Oh, boy. We could be into a sub 10 cent hex. I don't want to see that. You guys don't want to see that, but that's the reality. Uh, Pulse chain isn't here yet. It's just how we roll. Let's look at the monthlies. Or first, let's look at the weeklies, what the weekly says. Well, we're still, we still have the sell indicator on the weekly. So it's in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks. The only other, this one was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks. Dang. So we haven't had, next week will be the, tie for this one so we're, we're definitely in a bear market we might see one more leg down but i hope not we got support line at oh that's no that's actually our uh that's the price 11.1 .1 right now goodness gracious uh macd is below di is below let's go to the monthly Got to get above this on the monthly, 24 cents, guys. That's our resistance level right there, 24. Currently, we're at 11.1, .1 and look, we just went down below on the MACD. Been, we've been three months in the red. Remember, Hex hasn't been around a long time, so a monthly with the Oryx indicator, um, it takes some time for the, the information to be collected and generated. So we've only had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six months since the indicator has been active. But uh, I still think we have another leg down. But trading a bear is pretty easy, in my opinion. Let's go on the hourly. I do not recommend using this for your trading, but just to check it out. Uh, Oryx indicator is still green as of seven or eight hours ago. Uh, looks like the MACD could swing up and we could have a nice little bump here. Uh, don't don't count on a big bump. <laughs> it might be a tiny one, just like this one was. Um, we went to 11 and a half cents. I mean, that's, oh man, it's just looking sleepy right now. I'm oh, sorry about that. Bus is beeping. All right. That's all I really got about with, with Hex. I mean, it's not, it's not exciting at all right now. I think that we need to see Pulse Chain launched, uh, at least Pulse Chain uh, Testnet version 3. Uh, I guess it's supposedly 2.5 is coming. So. But that was not as exciting to me as much as uh, 3 is. So what do you do in this situation? You accumulate. That's what I'm doing. So if hex drops below 10 cents, I will put a chunk back in. If it drops below um, 8 cents, I'll drop another chunk in. If it drops below 6 cents, I'll drop another chunk in and keep dollar cost averaging down. That's how you trade a, trade a bear market. Uh, and it keeps you... Um, Keeps you in the game, right? So then when you do get those 30, 40% bumps, then you could take out some of that and 
uh, put your USDC back in and have it in case it does drop again and you can DCA more. I've been doing that since September and it's been working great. So uh, I've increased my hex bag. I keep, um, I, I have some hex stakes that have come out and I restaked and restaked on Hedron and um, then I claimed them. So that's where I think everyone should try to do is right now T-shares are, are cheaper than they've been for a while. So get those T-shares in before the Pulse Chain fork. Uh, I don't know how many more derivatives like Hedron are going to come out. I've seen Trevon James talk about uh, building something that's a derivative. The excitement, the excitement is building. I'm in the Pulse Doge group, and the guys at Pulse Doge are, are, are working on stuff too with their meme coin, um, meme coin with DeFi. So I'm, I'm really excited about Pulse Doge, uh, Liquid Loans, Mintra. <laughs> There's so many things. So uh, just be careful out there and DCA and accumulate during the bear market. Don't worry about the bear market, guys. It, it does turn around. I know if you need the money now, it hurts. Um, do I wish I could I could have some more liquid or have some more cash on hand right now? Of, of course. Everyone does because it is a wild world out there. <clears throat> Shit looks like it's getting negative, right? You want to have cash on hand. Um, but that's another, that, I'll talk about that in another video. All right. Thanks, everybody. I hope everyone has a great day.